guys, what was the adjective? When Red Cedar Elementary School opened six years ago, this room was both media center and library. Now we've separated the books from this place kept the name Media Center. We call it Media Center 2.0. This is more like what college libraries, college media spaces are all about. Kathy Corley has been principal here since the school's inception. This all began when the superintendent said to a group of principals, what would happen if we took the books out of the, the Media Center? What would you do with it? Before he finished speaking, I emailed him with, I, I'm there. The books now in the atrium. In their place, equipment like giant touchscreens that can show what's going on on someone's iPad to a whole class. Or say what's happening on a piano being played by a phenom from Puerto Rico. So the children could see exactly what was going on with his fingers. There were about 120 children in this room. If we don't get kids in, the, in on the cutting edge of whatever it is is happening now they're going to be way behind it's so different but it's really cool because it helps us learn better um, I think books are good for people but it's just that it didn't have everything that you needed in a book Corley says she and her staff want students to be able to do more than just use new technology in some cases when we introduce a new technology to them it's to show them that a thing can be done, like 3D printers. They're supposed to say to themselves, well, if you can do that with this, I wonder if you could do this with that. And the that probably hasn't been invented yet, but it's their generation that will do that.